picture book drama where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru. Welcome to another edition of the Movie News. First up is DC Comics. Earlier this week, DC released new images of the Titans from the new Rebirth launch. We get to see that not only will Wally West get a red costume, but we'll also be going by The Flash. We get a detailed look at Arsenal's new costume, which is an improvement from his new 52 one. Not only did we get Wally back, but we got Donna Troy too, who is not going to be going by Wonder Girl or Troya, simply Donna Troy. Nightwing gets a sleek updated look, very similar to the one he wore before the new 52. Omen gets brought into the major leagues this time with a creepy new look. Finally, Tempest is given an all new look complete with facial hair and open toes. Now anyone who knows me knows that the Teen Titans are my favorite group, so I'm psyched to see what this version is going to be like. Thanks to a leak online, we get to see the poster for Injustice 2, confirming that there will be a new version out this year. Will it continue to be a fighting game, or will they add RPG elements into it? too early to say, but they did drop a new trailer, which you can see right now. say that battle changes you. It makes you stronger. More ferocious. in the night, watching, learning, hunting, each time I enter the pit, I emerge, reborn. Put the devil on the other side, and I will show up. Evolved. Adapted. And prepared. To fight. The new poster and title of the new Justice League movie has surfaced. Jeff Johns put all the rumors to rest by releasing a statement saying that the title of the Justice League movie is Justice League. J.K. Simmons, who will be playing Commissioner James Gordon in the new Justice League movie, has been hitting the gym, and all I can say is damn. The CW's Legends of Tomorrow will be getting Vixen as a new regular cast member but it won't be Megalyn E.K. reprising the role. Due to scheduling conflicts, she won't be available to return as the character, so the role will be recast. Megalyn originated the character first in animation on the CWC short series Vixen, and then in live action on an episode of the fourth season of Arrow. This new Vixen will be a different, earlier incarnation of the character, fitting with the show's time-traveling heavy motif. Megalyn did confirm that she will voice the character in the second season of the CW Seed animated series, and that she may return to the character if her schedule allows. Batman and Killing Joke, the animated movie, will be getting a limited release for one night in movie theaters across the country on Monday, July 25th, and two showings at 7.30 and 10 p.m. local time. Please remember, 
The Killing Joke is rated R, and standard cinema restrictions will apply. If only to get Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill to play Batman and the Joker one more time, I'll take it. The screenings are just three days after the film's world premiere at San Diego Comic Con on July 22nd, and one day before the movie is available in digital HD on July 26th. The Blu-ray and DVD will be out on August 2nd, so don't beat yourself up if you don't have a screening in your town. Tickets will be available for purchase online beginning Friday, June 17th, and you can see right here all the details on where you need to go to get your tickets. Or you can go to your participating theater. DC Comics will honor Darwin Cook, who passed away in May with a double page spread in this week's releases, featuring his art and a quote from legendary artist Jack Kirby. Who says comics are just for boys? DC Entertainment last year created an animated short series designed with young girls in mind. The creation is DC Superhero Girls, which features Wonder Woman, Batgirl, Supergirl, Harley Quinn, Bumblebee, Poison Ivy, and Katana as they discover what it takes to be a hero at Superhero High. New images from the now shooting Ghost on the Shell have found their way online. The manga adaption is currently filming in Hong Kong, where shots of lead actors Scarlett Johansson and Pilau Aspect, who play Major and Batu, were spotted in the film's marketplace set. Next, we move over to Marvel Comics. Sharon Stone is in talks to play a small role in Marvel Studios' The Ant-Man and the Wasp. Paul Rudd will be back as Ant-Man. And Evangeline Lilly will be back as Hope Van Dyne and will suit up as the new Wasp. We did see the original Wasp in flashback in the first Ant-Man. This would be a great way to have Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone on the screen again since their ultra steamy movie, Basic Instincts. And yeah, I went there. Michael B. Jordan has been cast for Marvel Studios' Black Panther with Chadwick Boseman and possibly Laputa Nyong. It's not clear what role he'll play, but rumors say that he'll be playing the film's villain, so stay tuned for further updates. Finally, The Walking Dead's Norman Reddus, when asked in a recent interview with Up Rocks if he would be interested in playing the Ghost Rider, he only had one response. Hell yeah. But that'd be it for me, guys. That's the movie news. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru. Don't forget to hit me in that comment section below. Hit me up on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Behance.net. Until then, hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Peace.